All right, so let's uh, suppose you're making an end of the year video with uh, pictures from your class that include photos, uh, and, but it also is going to be some video in there as well. And you want this presentation to auto advance every three seconds. All right, what's going to happen when I go to file, publish to the web, I can pick start the slideshow uh, as soon as the player loads, and I'll hit publish. When I use this link, when I open this up, you'll see every slide just rotates every three seconds. Right. The problem we run into is, well, what if I want a video to play for 10 seconds? Right. It's going to cut the video off. Right. So here I have an embedded video. And if I right click on it and go to video options, I can have it start at the one uh, zero second mark and end at the eight second mark. The problem is it's only going to last for three seconds, which really isn't enough time to even start the video. All right, I'm going to click on this box to autoplay when presenting, and let's see what happens now. Yeah, so it just barely starts up. So what we can do to fix this is uh, I'm going to move this video off to the side, and I'm just going to put a shape on this board. I'm going to put a rectangle. All right, and I'm going to animate that. And whenever you do a published presentation, the animations that take place um, in the beginning of a slide don't count for those three seconds that that slide is going to show up. So what I could do is I could say, I want this square or rectangle to appear, and I want it to appear with the previous, so appear with the last slide, and I want it to go really slow. All right, and I'm going to do that again. So I want it to, this time, I'm just going to keep selecting um, appear. For this one, I don't want it to select appear on the click. I want it to appear after the previous. All right, and so when I move this, you can see it gets up to five seconds. So I've kind of bought myself 10 seconds worth of time, and maybe I'll do it one more time. I better safe than sorry. And we're going to hit appear, and I want this to appear after the previous, and I'll make it really slow again. Now, I'm going to close out of here. Remember, I have this video set to play for uh, eight seconds. Now, ideally, I bought myself 15 seconds of time, but the video takes, if you have an eight second video, it takes a little while to load the player. So I'm going to take this, throw it on top of these blocks, which you can see it's behind it now. All I have to do is go to right click and bring it to the front, change the order. All right, and now let's see how this looks. We'll see if we can get all eight seconds of that video in there. Hi, welcome to Math Ant. All right, so I got all eight seconds and you know, those transitions, those uh, animations are still going on, so you might have to tweak them so it's not as long, but now you can see how that would work.